Hi everyone, it's Karen here. Welcome to another video with me and Lavinia Stamps. And today I am super excited to share this card with you that I made with this fantastic new release of steampunk cogs, wheels and time. I hope you're enjoying our extravaganza and I do hope that you enjoy this video. So I've got as the main focal point, I've got this lovely stamp which is called Tok. In the background, I've got all sorts of stamps from the COG sets one, two and three. I've just mixed and matched them. And then I've got this lovely texture in the background. I'm using texture one and texture three stamps. And in the background, I've got this lovely stencil, which is called COGS. Look at that. Just COGS, COGS galore. So my card size is nine and a half centimetres square. And the colours that I'm going to be using are faded jeans, fossilised amber, cracked pistachio in distress oxides. I am using twilight and acorn in versifying clear. I am going to be using my stencil brushes and my smoothies to apply the ink um, all over my card. So stay tuned. We will get started. The very first thing that I'm going to do is take my card and my stencil and I'm just going to lay it down and put a really soft layer of colour in the background. As you can see here, really soft colours. So, and for that I'm going to be using my stencil brushes. And people often ask me, how many stencil brushes do you need? Well, I've actually got six for my oxides and six for all the other ink pads that I use. So they're really, you don't need to clean them. I, I've had these for nearly two years and I've never washed them at all. I just brush them off on a piece of kitchen towel or a tea towel and and I can use them. So I keep the, the same colourways. Here I've got greens, here I've got blues, because I use those colours a lot. And then I've got one for yellow today. So I'm going to just bring in a scrap piece of paper here. And I'm just going to pop some of this colour down in the background. Very lightly because the most of the interest is going to be with our centre point, which is the top stamp and the texture on our background. So that is ever so light. So you can see how I'm applying this circular motion all the time. I'm not covering all of the stencil. So if I flick this back, you can start to see that colour beginning. I'm going to come in with my other colours now. Fossilised amber. And then the third colour that I'm going to be using here is Cracked Pistachio. It's a very light, soft green, but it's a bit like that, that rusty colour that often appears in um, metal. So I'm just going to put that ever so lightly in and around the card. And you know what, if you have some gaps, places where you haven't got colour, not to worry because we are going to stamp our texture all over it. So I'm really happy with the way that that is looking. Look at that. Isn't that a bit of fun? 
so I'm just going to pop the lids on these so that I don't. Okay, great. Now, oh my goodness, we are absolutely going to have a ball with our colours. So I am going to put some of my Texture One on with Twilight. Now you will note that I am not using a block. I'm just going to stamp this with the stamp like this. And the reason for that is because then I can roll it and I don't have any definite starts and finishes. Just like that with my finger Look at that. And that's how you're starting to get this rather variegated look. I'm now going to ink up with Acorn, my Texture 3 stamp. And because I don't want this to overpower, I am going to put this as a second generation here. Just softly and lightly in the background. like that. You don't want too much, just a bit here and there. So it's actually really quite fun. And now for our cogs. Oh my goodness, I've picked some of my favourites, but how can you choose favourites out of all of these? They are so fun. So I am going to stamp a couple of these some first, some second generation over the back of my card here. There we go. And then I'm going to go and do that with my other cogs. Now, some of these you want to go as though they're joining some of the other cogs. Some of them you want stamped off the card, like that. I'm still using Twilight for all of them. And then I am going to go in with my acorn. Get some of my acorn happening here. These cogs are so much fun, so interesting. And I'm going to get them so that they're sort of joining on through that little story happening in there. And then what we're going to do is, is we're going to tie it all together with our tock in the centre of our card. OK, I think I'm happy with that because... And what you're going to do is on a separate piece of card, you are going to stamp and emboss this gorgeous tock stamp. So I have used black embossing powder. If you aren't sure on how to emboss, please have a look at some of my videos on my YouTube channel. I've got many of them that um, emboss and show you how to do that embossing really successfully. So... I have just embossed it on the piece of white card and cut that out. I also just cut the loop out. We will colour that so it won't look as it won't look odd. So for this, I am now going to take my smoothies. I've got in the three colours that I've been using, and I am going to just with the ink that I had on my sponges already, a bit of yellow here and there, and my blue, which was faded jeans, just ink that one up. You don't want too much because you want it to have this sort of rather rustic, aged look. There we go. And then if it starts to look too dark, just brighten it up with a bit of yellow. 
lovely. Look, that's looking rather aged there. Now, I do quite like the idea of a bit of a border on this one. I think on my original, I went a bit of a greeny look, but this one is going to have a bit more of a brownie hue. And I'm okay with that. I've just picked up my fossilised amber, which is on this smoothie. There we go, look at that. So you can change the look of your card quite significantly by just putting a bit of an edge or a border around it. I'm going to have it like that. I'm going to pop it over there. Um, I am going to put my stamp, which is Time is of the Essence. And I'm going to stamp that with my Twilight. These are lovely, lovely sentiment stamps. They're crisp. I'm actually going to put this one at the top here. Look at that. Very clear, straightforward script. And then I've just got, literally, this is the last piece that I have of this. I wonder how long I've had it in my stash. A long time. Um, it's just a bit of gold thread twine and I'm just going to see how it falls on its own. And if we pop this on top, let's see what it looks like. We need something popping out from the top. Yeah, something a bit like that. So I'm just going to use one of my 3D mounting pads and I'm going to stick this onto the centre of my card and I'm going to pop my little tock on the top. I'm going to take a tiny bit of gold metallic paint, which you can find in the metallic paint section of the website. And I am just going to splatter a bit of this over our top and over the card. Look at that. Isn't that fun? I always wash my brush off straight away so that the paint doesn't harden on it. And I'll just use some water to clean up my mat. And then there's one final piece to finish off our card. And that is to pop a few of our little gold sequins there. And to do that, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of glue over there. Pick up the sequins with my tweezers. And I'm just going to make sure that they're the right way up. I like to have them so that they're, the cups are facing upwards. But it really doesn't matter. And I just dip it into there. And odd numbers always work well. So I've actually got five. But you know what? I actually think on this one, three is perfect. So there we have it. I do hope you've enjoyed it. There's my original, which is slightly different from this one. So probably when I mount it, I will mount it onto a slightly different coloured background. But look at that, how simple, how much fun. I do hope you'll enjoy the rest of the extravaganza. 
And until the next time, bye for now.